Hi, my name is Kate Marquis. I'm a nurse at the Life Support Learning Center at UVA Health, and welcome to Brain Bits Part 2. Uh, today we'll be going over a neuro assessment. So I have my friend here, 3G. He likes to go by Greg, and he's going to be helping me out. All right. Hi, Greg. My name is Kate. I'm going to be the nurse taking care of you today. Can you tell me your name? Yes. So in terms of neuro assessments, we want to keep all of our questions open-ended. A yes or no answer may kind of give you um, it, it won't be as telling as an open-ended question. What is your name? My name's Greg. Right, so that is a correct answer. Now, if someone says, my name is George Washington and I'm off to go chop down a cherry tree, what am I doing here? I'm significantly more concerned. So, utilizing open-ended questions is very important. Where are we right now? At the hospital. At the hospital. So again, using this open-ended question rather than uh, getting an answer like here, um, or some other answer like that. What year is it? 2020. And what month is it? It's February. Fantastic. So I like to do a year and month or year and time of the year. So that's spring, summer, fall, winter, uh, because personally I am alert and oriented and I have no idea what day it is today. So I'm gonna get my gloves on. Uh, can you give me a big smile? And we're looking to see if he follows commands. In addition to him following commands, I'm looking for the symmetry of his face. Does he have a droop on one side um, or is his smile symmetric? Okay, stick your tongue out at me. Again, I'm looking for symmetry, um, him being able to stick his tongue out midline, uh, as well as his ability to follow commands. All right. Also going to assess pupils at this time, so I'm gonna find my pen light here. All right, so I'm gonna shine a bright light in your eyes. And what I'm looking for is um, pupils equal round, reactive to light, and accommodative. And in most people, we would go sideways. 3G being a mannequin, he's a bit more specific. I'm going to go right down in there. And you can actually see his pupils react with our light. Fantastic. I'm also going to have him uh, do cardinal directions with me. So I'm going to have him follow my pen light. And I'm going to hold his chin because a lot of times people will move their head uh, instead of just their eyes. So I'm going to do an H. So I'm going to have him look at my pen light here and go down, up, over, up, and down again. All right. Another thing we can do is uh, visual fields. So again, having him look straight ahead at me, I can have him tell me how many numbers he can see in each of his peripheries. Going to go on to naming objects. When you do naming objects with people, ensure that you use uh, things that they've seen before. So don't pull out your stethoscope or your blood pressure cuff. Uh, you want to do normal things. So uh, on my badge, I have a key here. So I'd ask him to tell me what this is. It's a key. And what are these things here? Glasses. Again, all normal objects that someone would see in their everyday kind of lives. Okay. Uh, in terms of vision, can you read these two letters here? R N. Good. And what color is this? Orange. Orange. Good. And a little bit harder, what are these two numbers right here? 1920. Fantastic. And what color are my gloves? Uh, purple. Purple. Um, if I were to do something like my shirt, uh, you can see it's very dark. It's technically navy, but if someone were to say black, that's kind of a reasonable answer. Um, being aware if your patient is colorblind is also good to know, so if they give you a funny answer, uh, knowing that in your head, it, it's not an issue of aphasia. So, Greg, I'm going to touch your face now. I want you to tell me if it feels the same on each place in my touching. It's here and here feel the same? Yes. Here and here? Yes. Here and here? Yes. Fantastic. Next thing I'm going to do is assess strengths. So normally uh, I would have his stretcher be lower. The stretcher does not lower, so I'm going to be a little bit short here. Uh, so I'm going to take your hands. So what I'm going to do is have him push me away. So he would push and pull me back toward him, towards him. Um, I'm also going to have him squeeze my fingers. But when I do that, I'm only going to offer two fingers. I don't know if you've ever had someone who doesn't know their own strength or maybe isn't quite oriented, grab your entire hand and squeeze. It hurts. Two fingers uh, kind of avoids that issue. Before we're done, I'm going to have him hold his hands up. 
closed his eyes and I'm going to um, see if he can maintain them at this height. Uh, unfortunately, 3G here uh, is not able to do that for me. So this is a nice demonstration of a zero strength where it just falls to gravity. Full strength would be five out of five. So that's full strength. And keep in mind when you're grading these things, the little old lady who uh, is just generally weaker is not gonna have the same kind of full strength as the bodybuilder. So five out of five is your full strength. Zero, you can see Greg has a zero strength here. Uh, three is up against gravity. So if you're able to hold your arm up, but any kind of pressure just kind of goes down. Four is somewhere in the middle of um, full strength and just to gravity. So they can give you a little bit of resistance back, but they're really not at their full level. We're looking at two, uh, so that would be, I can kind of start to get it up a little bit, but I'm having a hard time fighting gravity. And then one would be just kind of muscle twitching. So if you can see that muscle activation there, um, that's a one. All right. Additionally, I'm going to ask uh, Greg here if uh, he feels me touching him and if it's the same on both sides. Yes. Right. Cover him back up here. Move down to his feet. All right. Again, I'm going to ask about sensation. Does this feel the same on both sides? Yes. Fantastic. I'm going to have him push down on the gas, so it should look like this, and come off uh, the gas pedals on both sides. So sometimes people will just do one. So, oh yeah, the gas is only on that one side. So you can say the gas and the clutch, and then have him come off as well. I'm also going to have him lift his legs up in the air and have him hold for a five count. Again, we're going to assess this the same way that we assessed arms. That's pretty much your full neuro assessment. 